Hey, this is Kate from dailytarotgirl.com and this is my unboxing video of the Erotic Fantasy Tarot. So this is a low Scarabio deck and I've already used this deck a few times um, in readings for my YouTube channel and for myself. It comes with a little white book which it, I haven't actually looked at the little white book yet. Maybe I should have done that before starting the video. It's kind of your typical little white book. There's meanings of the cards. Um, sometimes there's a few spreads. I don't see any. There might be some though. Yeah, so it's your typical little white book. And the card stock, well actually the card size is, if you have any other low Scrabio decks, um, it's the typical card size. So the cards are a little bit narrower and a little bit longer than a lot of the other cards I have. Um, but it's your typical low Scrabio uh, size. And finish is kind of a, it's not really matte, it's not really gloss, kind of something in between. And the stock is like kind of, it's not really thick, it's not really thin, it's okay. It's decent quality, but it's not the best quality, if that makes sense. So this is what the card backs look like. They're light and pretty. And I'm just gonna slowly go through the deck and um, starting at the very beginning. Now I did put all these cards in order. <laughs> so I'm gonna start at the very beginning and I'm just gonna let you get a sense of, of this deck. So we'll start with the Major Arcana cards. And like I said, I've used this deck a few times already and I like it, it's fun. I was drawn to this deck, I bought this deck, um, I saw images of it online and I just liked the theme of the deck and it felt fun, it felt like a sexy deck, felt kind of whimsical. I really like the artwork. The artwork is colorful but not super bright and the cards are really interesting. Like there's lots of symbols and details in the cards, but the cards don't feel too busy or, or um, uh, they don't feel too crowded. So it's nice. It's like the perfect amount of detail. And it's called the Erotic Fantasy Tarot. I would say it's, I wouldn't really say it's an erotic deck. I would say it's more of like a, a sexy kind of sensual deck. In fact, I wouldn't hesitate to use this deck for readings for the general public. I mean, that's just me. <laughs> I guess it depends on the crowd that you're reading for. Um, but I have quite a few other erotic decks that I would really never use for reading for other people because <laughs> some of them are quite explicit. Whereas this one I feel is, um, it's more of like a sexy kind of sensual deck. The cards have Roman numerals on them, which I kind of hate because um, I don't know Roman numerals and people tell me that it's not that hard to learn, but I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> so <laughs> I'd rather see the names of the cards than the, the Roman numerals, but that's just me. It's a minor, minor complaint. Okay, so now we're into the Minor Arcana and we're starting with the Suit of Pentacles. I, I love the aces in this deck. I think they're really beautiful. Thankfully, the Miners don't have Roman numerals on them, so I can figure these out. <laughs>
Okay, so the um, court cards have like these little symbols. So this little, it's like a Roman helmet symbol. Um, it's the page and then the horse is the knight and then the queen and the king. Oh, wait, did I miss one? Oh, I feel like I, oh, of course. Queen and then to get the new pile, here's the king. So I actually quite like the court cards in this deck. I feel like they have a lot of personality to them. Okay, so here we are with the suit of swords. Again, this is so beautiful. I love the aces in this deck. I like that this deck has stuck to kind of the traditional sort of rider weight symbols for the most part, um, but there's enough newness and uniqueness to make this deck interesting. So it doesn't feel like a rider weight clone, um, but at the same time, I the cards feel familiar to me right out of the box. I don't feel like I have to think too hard when I'm reading, so that's kind of nice. Okay, here we are with the core cards. Yes, the Page of Swords is very sexy. Knight of Swords. This is probably my favorite Queen of Swords card in all the decks. I like this one. Because normally the Queen of Swords seems cold and bitchy, and she kind of does here, but it, it sort of is fun too. It works here. <laughs> okay, so here we are into the Suit of Cups. into the suit of wands and I'm just gonna cut my deck in half because it's getting hard to hold them up. <laughs> All right. This is a very macabre ace of wands. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to make of this. All right, and we're back where we started. So I thought I would show you all of the major arcana cards together. So you see them all laid out at once. So I'm just gonna pan over them. Okay, 
Okay, and here are all of the minor arcana cards laid out. And I'm just gonna, <laughs> it's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot going on. I'm gonna slowly go through the, the suit of pentacles. It's just kind of neat when you see them all laid out together, you get kind of a, a better feel for this deck. So I feel like this deck is um, it's quite beautiful. It does read really well. It's easy to read with. I think it would be easy for beginner readers as well as advanced readers. And I will do a sample reading with this deck at the end so you can see how this deck is in action. Okay, here we have suit of cups. And suit of wands. Okay, so I'm going to do something I love to do whenever I get a new deck. I'm going to interview this deck and I'm going to ask it, what kind of readings do you like to do? Like what kinds of questions or topics do you love to be asked about? Okay. Ooh, the chariot. Okay. Now, of course, this is an erotic tarot deck, so... Um, you know, we could assume that questions about sex, love, and relationships would, would go well with this deck. But here we have the chariot. It's going to zoom in a little here. Okay. Um, so the chariot to me is about moving forward. It's about like setting goals, making things happen, and really creating forward momentum and progress and success. In your life. So I think that this deck is actually, in addition to being a good deck to read about love and relationship questions, um, and this is of course a very sexy card, um, but I think it's also about, uh, it's also going to be a good deck to use for readings regarding, you know, career, success, moving forward. This kind of deck is going to give you lots of great advice on how to move forward and how to, how to start some more momentum in your life. Let's ask another question. So I want to know um, what this deck looks for in a tarot reader. Okay, we've got the Five of Cups. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so the Five of Cups is ultimately a card of disappointment and it's about how we deal with moments of disappointment like how how do we approach disappointment in our life and i was watching a show last night and a character in the show said um whenever i feel disappointed in someone i know it's because i i know it's because i believed a version of reality that wasn't true <laughs> it, those weren't the exact words, but it's like, whenever I feel disappointed, I know it's because I was believing in something that um, w wasn't reality. And I thought that was an interesting quote. Anyway, um, Five of Cups, I think, is about, yeah, what how we handle disappointment. And so I think that this deck, um, when it comes to what they look for in a reader, they look for a reader that can navigate being disappointed because when you're reading tarot quite often you won't get the card that you're hoping for you don't get what you expected or what you wanted and so if you can't deal with that if you're the kind of reader who just like puts those cards back in the deck and draws again this deck's not going to like that so they like a reader who knows how to handle disappointment and knows how to look on the bright side of things so um the five of cups is also about the two cups that are still standing. Uh, sure, there's three cups that are down, and that's kind of what didn't work out, 
what didn't go as planned, but there's still two cups standing. So there's still something salvageable. Um, there's also a bridge in the background. And this is about bridging the gap, being able to make some kind of transition. So being able to transition from feeling disappointed, from something not going according to plan, not really working out, and being able to use that experience to transition out of that feeling of disappointed, disappointment um, into feeling more hopeful and, and positive about things. So I'm going to ask one more question. And I'm going to ask, how can you best help me? So I want to know how this deck can best help me in my life. And keep in mind, if you get this deck and you ask these questions, you're going to get different cards. Um, this is just kind of what this deck, how this deck is going to operate for me in my life. So two of swords. Okay, so this deck is going to help me with making decisions and getting out of um, that, that, you know, when you're kind of indecisive about something and you're like, I have to make a decision, but I don't know what, I don't feel like I have enough information. This deck's going to help me get more information, the information I need to move forward and, and make decisions. So I'm not in limbo and feeling kind of conflicted and confused. So it's going to help me, I think, get into my intuition more because the character on this card has a blindfold and her hands are tied too. So not only can she not see, but she also can't really do a lot. And when we're in those kinds of positions in life where we don't have the whole picture, we don't have the information we need to make a decision and we our hands are tied, we can't really do much. It really forces you inward and it forces you to really connect with your intuition. And so I think that this is what this deck is going to help me with. All right. So this has been fun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this deck. If this is a deck that you want to add to your collection or, you know, what you thought. It's called the Erotic Fantasy Tarot. Um, and it is, the artwork is by Eon and Simona Rossi and it's published by Lo Scarabio. So I'll put the link uh, just below this video if you want to learn more about this deck and purchase this deck. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.